Hi, welcome back to the channel. Some good news. Father found guilty of murdering daughter he ran over. Nigel Malt has been found guilty of murdering his daughter, Lauren Malt. Credit to Danielle Bowden, stroke Shutterstock, for the picture there, and the Eastern Daily Press for their story. A man has been found guilty of murdering murder of his daughter after he reversed his car into her and ran her over. Nigel Malt, 44, killed 19-year-old Lauren Malt outside her home in the village of West Winch, near Kingsland, after a row in which he threatened her boyfriend with a crowbar. He was convicted of murder at Norwich Crown Court after a two-and-a-half-week trial. The jury of six men and women returned an unanimous, unanimous guilty verdicts after almost eight hours and 40 minutes of deliberations. The trial heard how Malt of Lynn Road, Kings Lynn, was estranged from his family at the time, having twice assaulted his wife Karen. He had been arrested, released on bail, with conditions not to contact his wife. But on the evening of January 23rd this year, he went to her at the West Winter convenience store where she worked triggering the chain of events that led to Lauren's murder. Lauren was murdered by her father, Nigel Malt. Judge Anthony Bate adjourning sentencing until a date to be fixed in August, but told Malt the sentence was mandatory in any event, the trial heard grim details of how Lauren had been knocked down by her father's Mercedes in Letty Way, West Winch. Andrew Jackson, prosecuting, described how Malt her, her, how Malt her reversed his car into and knocked down his daughter. Mr. Jackson added he knocked her to the ground. He then reversed his car over her. He stopped, then drove forwards over the body. The 19-year-old was effectively crushed to death. Her screams as she, as she was run over by her father were heard by the jury, who were played audio and CCTV recordings of part of the incident captured by hor horrified neighbours. Jurors were told Mr Jackson, what you heard there was the sound of what the prosecution say was no less than murder. He said Malt used his car as a lethal weapon. He added, a car when driven at speed, when driven over another person, is eventually going to cause death or really serious harm. That is simple common sense. That's true. Jurors also heard the family background to the tragedy. Mr Jackson said relationship Malt had with his wife had been marked by drink, drug taking, anger and threats of violence by the defendant. Following a split from Malt's wife Karen, Lauren and her other siblings were living in her grandmother's home in Letty Way. But the spring of 2021... Malt had twice assaulted his wife, resulting in him being arrested, released on bail with conditions not to contact his wife, who worked at a shop in West Winch, or visit her. Mr Jackson said Malt felt wronged by his wife, having left him and taken their children with her. Well, by the sound of it, she should have took the children with her. He said by January 23rd this year, the defendant's relationship with his family was broken, but it was something he was not prepared to accept. Malt had gone to the shop where his estranged wife worked, despite being prohibited from doing so. He overheard Lauren calling her mother and asking if she could take her sister to the shop. Malt said he would go and get her, but Karen did not want him to as he did not like Lauren's boyfriend, Arthur Marnell. However, Malt went anyway, arriving at the home at 7.21pm. He began arguing with Malt 
uh, with his daughter and her boyfriend and threatening him with a crowbar. Lauren went behind the car as if to stop the defendant from going back to get Arthur. But Malt then reversed his car over her before, before driving forwards over her. Mr Jackson said it had been deliberate act intending to inflict the maximum harm. Yeah, and then he drove her to the hospital instead of waiting for emergency services. The court heard then how, despite being told to leave Lauren where she was and wait for the emergency service, he picked up his unconscious daughter and put her in the front passenger seat of his car. So not even on the back seat where she would be laid down and any injuries could have, you know, well, may have not been as bad. Um, well, obviously bad anyway. She should have been left where she was and she should have let ambulance. He then drove to his wife at the convenience store. Oh, my God. So he didn't even go straight to the hospital, look. Mr. Jackson said it took over four minutes for Malt to arrive on scene threaten her boyfriend and then run over his daughter. Malt, who was represented by Alison Summers, QC, refused to give evidence in his trial. So there we go, guys. Hope you enjoy that. Um, it's not most enjoyable, you know. Beautiful young lady taken at the prime of her life, you know. What else can we say? Hope this guy gets a lot of years in jail. Life isn't enough. You know, that girl had a whole life ahead of her. So, anyway, normally I say hit that like, hit that subscribe and hit that share button. But today I'm going to say hit the dislike button. Thank you. Bye.